In this problem, we're told to estimate the average force exerted by a shot putter on a 7 kilogram shot if the shot is moved through a distance of 2.8 meters and is released with a speed of 13 meters per second. So before we solve the problem, let's write what we're given. So we're told uh, that it's going to be a 7 kg shot. So when they say kilograms, you know that they're talking about mass. So the mass of the shot is going to be 7 uh, kilograms. And so that's going to be the mass. What else are we told though? So we're told that the change or delta x, which is just the change in our x, is going to be uh, 2.8 meters because the shot is moved through a distance of this. So we know delta x is going to be 2.8 meters. And then it tells us it's released with a speed of 13 meters per second. So v sub 0 is going to be equal to 13 meters per second. So this is going to be our initial velocity. Uh, what we also know is that v is going to be 0. So the reason v is 0 is because it's going to be coming to a stop eventually. So v is going to be equal to 0 meters per second. And then we also don't know the acceleration. And so we're going to have to find the acceleration uh, in order to solve this problem. But it's asking for the average force. So we denote force by f. So I'm going to write force equals question mark because we don't know yet and we're going to need it to solve. And so we know force equals mass times acceleration. And so uh, we're going to use this formula to solve, but the mass we know already. So mass is 7 kilograms, but the acceleration we don't know yet, right? So we're not given the acceleration. That's why I wrote it equals question mark, uh, because we need to solve for it in order to find the force. And so uh, make sure that when you solve this, that uh, your mass is measured in kg and your acceleration is in meters per second squared. If you look here, all of our units uh, line in that way. So if we solve for acceleration, it's going to give it in meters per second squared. Uh, just make sure that's correct or your units are correct because uh, your, uh, your force will be wrong if it's uh, not those units. So if we go ahead and solve here, uh, we're going to have to use one of the kinematic equations to solve for this. Uh, I'm going to use the formula v squared equals v sub 0 squared uh, plus 2a times delta x. And the reason we're using this is because we're given basically all these variables. We're given delta x, we're given v sub 0, and we're given v. And so we can solve for a then. So if we plug in everything, v is going to be 0. So 0 squared is just 0. So 0 equals v sub 0 squared. So v sub 0 is 13. So 13 squared plus 2 times a, because we don't know a, we're trying to find that, times delta x, which is 2.8. So if we go ahead and simplify this, this is the same thing as, or 2.8 times 2 is 5.6. So plus 5.6a. And if we want to solve for a, we should move the 13 squared to the other side and then divide both sides by 5.6. So if we move this to the other side, it's going to be minus 13 squared equals 5.6a. So if we divide both sides by 5.6, we're going to get a. So if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get A equals minus 30.17. And so keep in mind, this is meters per second squared, right? That's how we measure acceleration. So now we've got acceleration. Uh, I'm going to write it right here. So minus 30.7 meters per second squared. And so now we've got acceleration, correct? And we have mass. So what we can do is solve for the force. So force equals the mass, which is just 7 times uh, the acceleration, which is minus 30.17. And so we have the correct units, right? Because uh, our mass has to be in kgs. Acceleration has to be meters per second squared. And so if you go ahead and do this, 7 times minus uh, 30.17 is going to be minus 211.19. And so what we have to do, though, is change this a bit. So I'm actually going to just round to the whole number. So minus 211, but keep in mind they're asking for the average force. So that means this can't be negative, so it's actually going to be positive. So the force is going to be equal to 211, and the way we measure force is in newtons. So you just want to say 211n, so n is basically just newtons. So this right here is going to be your answer. So the average force exerted uh, is going to be 211 newtons.